Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a collective general love reading as a Christmas countdown for you all. I thought that I would um, do something a little bit different. I know it's not that original, you know, with the countdown to Christmas, but I just thought that I would um, specify that this was for a collective for you guys rather than specific zodiac signs. Okay, guys? So it's more like if this is your story type of thing, it's a bit more informal. So we're on the 3rd of December, but these are timeless readings. So it's kind of whenever you come across this reading, is where it's most likely going to resonate. And remember guys, if it does resonate, then that's awesome. If it doesn't resonate, it's simply not your message. So let's get into this. I just thought we'd be a bit nosy and see what's going on with the collective as a general energy kind of current check-in type thing, you know? So this is the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot. Let's get into this. What can we get for the collective for today? What do they need to know for today? For love. Oh, straight out. Beautiful. We have the King of Cups. And it kind of came out sideways. So there could be someone around you as of right now. Maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't necessarily have to be. This person has a lot of deep feelings um, for you, um, but they haven't actually given off the impression that they have these feelings. They most likely have been holding them back here with the King of Cups. Oh my gosh, look at that. Page of Cups. This person of what you don't see wants to express their feelings, that they have them for you, um, but they are blocking themselves as of right now. That's the indication that I'm getting. Yeah, they're stopping themselves in their tracks here from coming forward towards you with um, approaching you with these feelings. Oh my days, guys. Look at that. King and Queen of Cups. They know that you are a pair. They know that there is a true love connection between the two of you. But somebody is really holding themselves back. I mean, this is really quite incredible. Yeah, look at that. This is a very heavy burden for this person to hold back their feelings. Um, you may have gone through a very long soul cycle with this person. Look, oh my gosh, I can't even make it up. Six of Cups, this is past life soulmate. Um, this is reunion. This is fond memories, nostalgia. You may have even been childhood sweethearts or you knew each other for a very long time. Um, this person can't stop thinking about you. They want to come forward towards you. But they are stressed. Oh my gosh, look at this. The Nine of Swords. This person is so stressed as of right now. And the other thing with this particular reading, please take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. So I could either be reading for yourself or for your love interest. So just use your discernment and flip this around. But um, yeah, there is someone around you who is incredibly stressed and very anxious about the idea of coming forward towards you with expressing these feelings. Oh my days, <laughs> with the Ten of Swords. They are really going through it now, guys. Like this is this is not funny. This person is like surrounded in darkness. I'm getting dark night of the soul. So potentially you could be dealing with someone who may have just started um, a spiritual awakening of, of sorts and they are realizing, you know, certain aspects of their life. And this, this the dark night, night of the soul is not easy. Yeah, they're having to really stand their ground and be assertive as they try to close out a very difficult cycle in their life wow this is this is huge guys what else is going on for the collective oh my god another six this is equal give and take this is definite past life i feel like something really significant is going to be happening for the two of you at some point they're not able to put in the effort as of right now. They can't show you that they want to commit to the connection um, because they have a lot going on as, as of right now. As we're getting that indication, this person's very much stuck up in their head. Um, and also their, their finances may not necessarily be where they want them to be and they can't take this leap of faith of hit with you. Um, we have the full energy, which is Aries in reverse. Yes, look at this with the world in reverse. This person is closing out a cycle um, in their life. Absolutely. Most likely a karmic cycle. 
So they can't necessarily put in the work to come forward towards you until they get their finances right. Oh my gosh, look at that with the King of Pentacles. So this person may feel a bit ungrounded as of right now because, yeah, they're waiting for um, some sort of results. Something to turn around in their favour in their life. But as of right now, with the Four of Wands being in reverse, they're also wanting to show itself. This person's incredibly um, unstable as of right now. Their intentions are absolutely to come forward towards you and to express this, this love and these feelings for you. And, you know, to actually put in the time, the effort, the resources, the, the care, the, to cultivate the relationship between the two of you. But as of right now, this person is really, really going through it. So just a little bit of compassion and patience um, would be really greatly beneficial, like beneficial to your connection. If this is your person that's upset or having difficulties, if this is for you to carry on being, you know, retreating from this person, stay in separation, just let them do what they need to do in order to get themselves together. Because, oh my gosh, they're really going through it here with the tower. This is Mars energy, Aries Scorpio. So this person could have a lot going on that you do not see. And this person absolutely could be going through the dark night of the soul. The tower moment is like a huge epiphany of something that you can't necessarily control. And this person is having their ego shattered, basically. They've had different instances happen in their life which have made them go, wow, okay, you know, my my ego, my pride, my ego has really been in the way and potentially getting in the way for a love connection to come together between the two of you and this person is now realising it. Oh my gosh, look at that. With the death card being in reverse, this is more Scorpio energy. Potentially it could have been a from Scorpio season as of right now um, that they've really had this tower moment and things have just... The culmination of certain things happening are still continuing as of right now. This person has had to have a tower moment in their life because they were stuck in their comfort zone here. They didn't want to change and they were very resistant to change. So therefore they've needed to be made very, very uncomfortable to push them out of their comfort zone in order to be able to come towards you and approach you at some point. What else here, please? Yeah, all they want to do, though, is rush in towards you with the Knight of Wands, very passionate, very fiery here, and express their feelings towards you, their passion, they're very passionate about you, but everything in their life is up in the air as of right now. Could be dealing with an Aries here, very strongly, we've got the Emperor in reverse, and the Moon trying to show itself, got Pisces energy. This person is keeping things quiet from you. They're keeping things quiet from you. They're putting up the, a lot of the illusions that everything's going on well in their favour. But they're not feeling as assured as of right now to come forward towards you, to travel, to see you. You could also be dealing with a divine masculine, divine feminine um, energy. Obviously, we're, we're reading energy, um, not gender or sex. So take this however this resonates. The world in reverse. Yeah, this person has really got to close out something as of right now and they're feeling very emotionally unfulfilled in their life. Potentially they are dealing with a karmic partner who really let them down in the past. Potentially there may have been infidelity. Um, that could be an extra message for someone. I'm going to take one more and then we'll clarify these two majors on the table. What else for today? Yeah. Look, that Ten of Swords wanting to show itself again and the Seven of Wands. When the same cards keep on coming out, it's just extra clarity for me um, that basically whatever I'm saying, I'm pretty much on the right track. Look at this. Seven of Swords upright here. They could be dealing with someone um, who really kind of stabbed them in the back with this Ten of Swords that they're trying to fight against. Potentially, they could have been dealing with this karmic partner who was very um, sneaky and underhanded when it came to their finances um, with the King of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like someone could have even been stealing money from this person and they're really trying to re-establish themselves after a very difficult period of time and especially if this is someone that is close to them or has been close to them in the past and they 
may have had a long-term investment, this would have been incredibly difficult because potentially your person may have found out that they were, the karmic partner was emotionally manipulating them and playing them at their own game. And this really hurt them here with the Ace of Cups. This is pretty much, they broke their heart on getting and left them very um, anxious here with the Nine of Swords. But the truth needed to be seen, potentially of a karmic partner. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's look at this tower here. What's this tower for this um, reading? Look at that. Broke up the deck. The tower moment is that this person's having the epiphany that they want the long-term family, home, security, etc. with you, with the Ace of Cups. That they have all this love for you and their feelings are growing for you every day. But that's where they need to invest their, their energy into getting their stability right, their emotional fulfillment right. But they can't come towards you as of right now because they most likely have to go through a breakup or a separation. Um, with the lovers being in reverse, with the Ace of Cups, could be dealing with a Gemini or this person has Gemini strongly in their heart. Let's look at this tower. Oh, ma the magician. This is powerful, guys. This has come straight out of the deck. Someone is realising that this tower moment had to come in. The destruction was inevitable. So somebody was enlightened to realise that they're actually a lot more powerful than they're giving themselves credit for and that they can change and actually produce um, a brand new reality, create their own reality here by finishing off what they needed to. Oh my God, beautiful. With the king of wands. This person is stepping into their power, they're becoming independent, feeling more assured of themselves. And look at all this passion and confidence and action that this person wants to take with all this beautiful red here. They're getting ready to be fired up and to tackle the obstacles that are in front of them. And they're realizing, wow, I actually have so much more um, like to give. I, I can do so much more. And this person's realising that they can drastically change their life. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Look at all these cards wanting to come out. But they've definitely felt at a loss here with the Five of Cups and the Page of Swords. There have been other people trying to spread rumours about them. Um, and they may have felt incredibly hurt and let down by these people. Emotionally very unsatisfied. Um... This person could be slowly but surely trying to move away from these particular people that may not necessarily have the best of influence on them. What else here for the tower, please? Because this is only a, a quick reading. Thank you. Nine of Cups. See, this person's realising that they can manifest their dreams. Yep, yeah, and they're getting rid of, most likely, a karmic partner here with the Queen of Swords who was um, very manipulative, very cruel, very cutting. And they're realising that they're setting boundaries with this person and they're gaining their independence. So I'm going to take that as an upright card. And they're healing themselves by moving on to karma waters and feeling better in their overall self. Expect this person to travel towards you or that they live at a distance from you, but they will travel to see you because this is a travel card. There may even be travel restrictions. Um coming up or you may have travel restrictions as of right now with the world being in reverse um, potentially but somebody is definitely wanting to have open communication at some point that somebody's gone through a lot in their life and that they felt very um, depressed and despondent here with the sun in reverse could be dealing with a leo what's this world here in reverse please what's this world thank you oh gosh card fell on the floor oh my god okay yeah, somebody had been holding on to possessions, people, situations, places that kept them very much in their comfort zone here with the death card, even though there was a load of drama and upset and chaos here with the five of swords and made this person feel incredibly lonely and upset with the five of cups of what you don't see. But there are major changes coming in for this person. And there had been a load of lies. Potentially this person may have been lying to themselves or they've had other people that have been manipulative and lying to them for their both own best interest to keep hold of them so that they wouldn't change. And this person's now realising that they're getting ready to leave a very unsatisfying situation um, because it's been really difficult. They've had to really... Um, 
assert themselves if they're going to have this happiness here with the four of wands beautiful if they're going to have the stability that they want in their life they need to show up for themselves and i feel like that's exactly what this person is doing i'll take one more for the world please beautiful the star this is aquarius energy there's a block in healing coming in as of right now but this person once they take the time to heal themselves and really kind of cultivate more positivity and optimism in their life they're going to realize their own power they're going to change things around and they're going to feel just so much more enlightened about everything and therefore there's this recognition of the strong soulmate connection between the two of you and you will most likely reunite because there's the emotional attachment between you and also you have a past life connection between the two of you this person may come in to see you very very quickly out of the blue here with the knight of swords but what i'm getting from this particular situation is that this person is very much interested in you but they're definitely not pursuing you as of right now because they just have too much going on and they want to pursue you but they can't because they know that you and them are meant to have this four of ones together this stability so you could be very high level soulmates past life soulmate connection twin flames divine feminine divine masculine however this best resonates with your situation but anyway guys that is the end of the reading i hope that you have enjoyed this was actually a really beautiful spread um but please take this as it resonates and this is just a timeless reading so it's dated for today but just because it's for today doesn't mean that it can't resonate at another time so whenever you find this message is when it's most likely for you but I hope that you guys have a really good day and we'll speak to you again soon. So please take care and bye for now. Thank you.